Okay, let's look at this example here. Integral x runs from 0 to 1, y runs from 0 to 1 minus x of a rather nasty looking integrand here. And so this example is going to break my nasty and nice paradigm a little bit. What's going to happen is that the region that we're integrating over right now is x runs from 0 to 1, y runs from 0 to 1 minus x. In the xy plane, it is this triangle here. This is a very easy region to integrate over. However, the cost here is that in this, this version, this is a kind of nasty looking integrand. Well, we probably could integrate this, but it would take a, take a good amount of effort here. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to try to use a substitution, not to simplify the region that we're integrating over, but to simplify the integrand itself. And then we'll have a slightly more complicated region to integrate over, but a much nicer integrand and that will be worth the price. So what do we try here? We have a square root of x plus y. Let's try u is equal to x plus y. And then we have a y minus 2x quantity squared. Let's try v is y minus 2x. Okay, so what happens? We've got u in terms of x, x and y, v in terms of x and y. This will make our integrand really, really nice. Now we just need x and y in terms of u and v. How do we obtain that? Uh, there's several different ways that we can do it. Uh, let's try to do, if we do twice the first equation plus the second equation, we would get 2u plus v is equal to 2x plus 2y plus y minus 2x. You can see why I made this choice here. I made the choice so that I can get the two x's to cancel out here. And so then we're left with 2y plus y is 3y is equal to 2u plus v, or y is equal to 2u plus v over 3. Uh, now, we, now we need, so we have y in terms of u and v. That's great. I'm going to substitute that into the first equation. And this gives us u is equal to x plus y is 2u plus v over 3. Uh, moving this to the other side, x is equal to u minus 2u plus v over 3. And this ends up as u minus v all over 3. So our change of variables, our transformation here is going to be x is equal to u minus v over 3, y is equal to 2u plus v over 3, and our Jacobian is the determinant of this, this partial derivative uh, of x with respect to u is 1 third, then negative 1 third, then 2 thirds, and then uh, 1 third here. Okay, so we have one third times one third is one ninth minus negative one third times two thirds. So this is one ninth plus two ninths is three ninths is one third. Okay, so we've got our Jacobian, we've got our change of variables. The last thing that we need before we can evaluate this is what is the pre-image? What is our G set here in the UV plane? So this is the one thing that is, will make us just a little bit sad because 
this was this was a very straightforward uh, very nice region to integrate over this region will be proved to be just a little bit more awkward to deal with but we'll still be able to deal with it uh, there's three boundary lines what are the three boundary lines so this is the line x is equal to zero this is the line y is equal to zero this is the line x plus y is equal to one so let's convert x is equal to zero y is equal to zero x plus y is equal to one let's convert that into u plus v so for x is equal to zero, x is going to be u minus v over three is equal to zero. This is u minus v is equal to zero. This is u is equal to v. So we know we have a line here, u is equal to v. For y is equal to zero, um, so this is 2u plus v over 3 is equal to 0. So multiply through by 3 is just 2u plus v is equal to 0. This is v is equal to negative 2u. And so we have this line down here, v is equal to negative 2u. Then finally, x plus y is equal to 1. Okay, x plus y is equal to 1. Hey, just remember how do we define this in the first place. u is equal to x plus y. This is u is equal to 1. So the region, so that is the region for us to integrate over in the UV plane. This is our, this is our G, this is our R region. And so I, I usually say here, this is nasty and this is nice. This is a very nice region. This is slightly less, less nice, but the payoff is that our integrand is going to be much, much, much nicer. So, our double integral is going to equal, let's see here. From this picture, we can see u is going to run from 0 to 1. And then v in terms of u is going to run from negative 2u to u. And then square root of x plus y, that's going to be square root u times y minus 2x, that's going to be v squared. And then our Jacobian, we found our Jacobian was one third. Every, you know, one third is always positive, so we just put that in as one third here, dv du. And so now we have this integral to evaluate. So let's see here, we integrate with respect to V. We get V cubed over three, we already divided by three, so V cubed over nine. And so, we get uh, U cubed, U to the one half, will be U to the seven over two, over 9 minus negative 2u to the cubed will be negative 8. So u 8 u to the uh, u to the 7 half powers over 9. And those will combine together to just be um, u to the 7 halves. And when you crunch that out, you get two nines. So this is a little bit different twist. Uh, instead of doing the substitution to change the integration over a nasty region to integration over a nice region, we did substitution to change a nasty integrand into a far, 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 far nicer integrand.